Thanks for tuning in to the Elixir Divine official YouTube channel. I finally got my heavy metals test result that I did using DMSA chelation, a six hour stress test. Check out the other video to see what the stress test is all about, what the package looks like and how it's done. So after doing the test, I sent it in into the lab and then um, about two weeks after I got my results and the results are not good not good and this is what they look like of course it can be worse but as you can see uh, these are all on the left is all the heavy metals that they test for which is a lot starting with aluminum and ending with uh, uranium okay so and everything in between as you can see most of them are okay over here is the reference chart and the green zone is ideally where you want to be of course the lines they represent the relative amount of the heavy metals in the body so the longer the line the worse it is okay so if there's no line that means they did not detect it meaning that the level is either really really low or you don't have it if the line is short you barely have any any so aluminum good thing I barely have any I wish I had none but I'll take this arsenic a little bit more but still pretty low barium mm, they put barium chem chemtrails as well um, pretty low cadmium low cesium I hope it's not from the Fukushima radiation right here. Relatively low, but slowly approaching the yellow zone. Anyway, the worst ones that I had was mercury. This longest line right here, past the yellow zone, past the red zone, like just to the max is mercury. Mercury is a nervous system toxin it's a brain toxin I never had silver fillings known as the amalgams by the way they're not silver they're mercury infused fillings that just look like silver but they're not really silver so I never had those even that even though my mercury is still pretty high living I suppose in Hawaii and eating lots of tuna ahi ahi big fish is known to contain more mercury than others among others is shark as well as swordfish are notorious for mercury i knew that it's gonna have mercury but i didn't think it would affect me so much other sources of mercury are vaccines i have had uh, unfortunately the mumps measles rubella the mmr vaccine about 10 years ago i wish i never did that if i knew what these things are all about but now it's too late and ever since i haven't had any vaccines or flu shots or anything of that nature anyway my mercury through the roof next one is lead lead is out of the normal range in the red zone not good that's my second heaviest heavy metal out of all these metals I was really surprised to see mercury and lead to be contaminated in my body because lead well you get it from everybody knows lead in the paint old paint you know I wasn't born in the 50s 60s or 70s uh, you also can get lead through handling leaded gasoline but gasoline nowadays is unleaded and paint nowadays doesn't have lead um, so I was really surprised to see this much lead. Also, you can find lead in supplements, ground up powders, root powders, soil that was contaminated with lead can have lead in it uh, in the supplements. Also from the machinery that grinds up those supplements. That's another possible um, route of exposure. I do take once in a while certain powders and you know this and that but I was really surprised to see these guys going through the roof. Next, nickel. Well, nickel, you know, five cents is made out of nickel. A lot of the so-called silverware, um, utensils, knives, forks are 
have nickel stainless steel uh, cookware is made with partially large chunks of it is made with nickel their alloys so if you use any kind of stainless steel cookware or if you use aluminum I never use aluminum cookware because I know that that's really bad stainless steel still has nickel in it and you don't want to have too much nickel that can cause uh, problems especially if it's a lot of it thallium I was like what thallium is my third highest um, contaminant I didn't even know what thallium was until I got this test and I had to research what thallium is and how people can get it what are the sources and uh, the first thing I read was well it's like a poisoner's poison people actually would use thallium to poison others because you can't smell it uh, you can't taste it so they would add thallium to somebody's tea make them drink it and then kill that person so I was like okay is somebody trying to kill me being starting to get paranoid but other sources of thallium is actually um, apparently makeup especially dark pigmented makeup especially even supposedly back in the day the Egyptians used thallium for their like eyeshadow or eyeliner whatever you want to call that dark pigment makeup so um, and then tin pretty minimal and then uh, tungsten uranium is like none or just not not significant so after doing this I went to the doctor or actually the doctor reviewed the results and based on this they prescribed a protocol of how I would get rid of these heavy metals specifically even more so mercury and lead because mercury is not good it can and lead especially combination of these two guys is even worse than uh, you know um, them individually or together you know they create a synergistic toxic effect on the uh, body and mind mercury and lead they really clog up the mind they can lower the IQ they can cause um, issues with the nervous system and so forth so really bad combination so my goal is to significantly eliminate reduce these guys right here while reducing all the rest and you can check out my next video my other video on specifically what I'm going to do and what you can do to get rid of these toxic heavy metals thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more about these things thank you and aloha